Hi, I'm Morgan. I'm a jewelry stylist here at Nina Baronado at our flagship store in Austin, Texas. Today, I wanted to do a video where we're styling older jewelry. I feel like it's so easy to style something that's simple and dainty, and those are great for everyday or layering pieces, but when you're working with something that is big and bold and bright, it can be difficult to fit into your everyday outfit routine. I'm someone who personally owns a lot of bold jewelry and it's part of every single outfit that I wear. It's just part of who I am. So I like to think of it like your outfit is cake and your jewelry is the icing on top. So you want to think about your cake to icing ratio, essentially. Um, and of course, everyone's ratio is going to be different because personal style exists, things like that. Are you a minimalist? Are you a maximalist? Etc. Um, but I like to think about that sentiment when I'm styling because it really helps me. So do what feels right to you, but I think that's a good thing to think about. For beginners, I like to use something called the eight point rule. So every item in your outfit is gonna be assigned a number and that's gonna be one or two, depending on how bold the item is. That's gonna add up to a maximum of eight points. Really, I like to keep it between six to eight. Um, so you have a little wiggle room there for your own personal taste, et cetera. But this is really just for beginners to get down so they can practice putting together um, cohesive outfits. While you might be somebody who's more of an 11 or 12 outfit like kind of person, I'm going to walk you through a few examples so you can kind of get the hang of it and we're going to stick between six and eight points. For this exercise, neutral items are going to receive one point and bolder items are going to receive two points. So let's say you're wearing a pair of jeans, a graphic tee, um, a pair of high tops. The jeans are going to get one point the shirt is gonna get two points, and the chucks are gonna get one point. The reason this outfit won't have much wow factor is because it only adds up to three points. We want it to sit around six to eight. So when you add like a neutral jacket, that adds one point. So now you know you have a budget of four points for jewelry. So if you're wearing bolder jewelry, go ahead and add two pieces. The first outfit I'm gonna show you starts with a silk skirt, a graphic tee, and some neutral sneakers. Um, I would count socks in this experiment just because I think socks can elevate an outfit. I know that sounds weird, but then I would add bold hoops on top. So the silk skirt is going to be two points, the graphic tee is going to be two points, neutral sneakers are one point, and socks are one point. That leaves two points for your hoops. Second outfit is going to be a denim jacket, jeans, um, a pair of bold boots, a black tube top, and then for jewelry, we're going to do like a bold cuff um, and a basic hoop. So. Your jeans are gonna be one point, your tube top is gonna to be one point, your denim jacket is gonna be one point. Then you're gonna add the bold boots, so that's two points, and then your bold cuff is two points, and your basic hoops are one. So that's gonna be eight. That gives you a total of eight points, and your outfit looks really cohesive without being boring. Let's say you're a classic kind of girly. You wanna style a lot of bold jewelry, so you're gonna need a really toned down outfit. What I would do is like a classic high-waisted pair of 505s, maybe some orange tabs, um, a white t-shirt, Black Mary Janes, a pair of sunglasses. So that's gonna give you about four points in total. So you may have a much bigger budget, essentially, for jewelry. So you're gonna have four points. So you could do a pair of huge earrings and then stack on a few necklaces, especially if you're like a maxim maximalist with jewelry. Um, this is gonna give you a lot of wiggle room. We'll do one more so you can kind of get the vibe. Let's start with a black midi skirt and then we're gonna do a striped button down. Um, we can add strappy sandals, a black bag, black sunnies, but then that gives you two points for earrings. So I would do a big bold earring like this one and kind of complete the whole look. All of these outfits came to a total of eight points. So you can kind of see about the equation you're gonna be doing when you're getting dressed, especially with bold jewelry. If you found this video helpful, we would really appreciate it if you'd follow the channel and share it with your friends. If you have any styling questions or concerns, feel free to leave them in the comments and we'll either respond or make a video. Um, and don't forget to check us out on other places on the World Wide Web. Um, I've linked them all down below for you so you can have at it. Bye.